Hi, today we'll talk about binary search. Our flow of discussion. First, we will talk about a problem statement. Then we will look into binary search. After that, we will look at recursive solution. And then we will talk about some template. In template, we will talk about that what are little bit changes in binary search and for sure it reflects in your problem statement and then we can make a small change into binary search and can solve the question here are some lead code questions that is their number and this is their description so you can practice by your own so like guess number higher or lower it is about square root you can apply binary search or you can apply newton method and so and so you can follow all those questions here you can see like this question search in a sorted array of unknown size it looks a little scary but once you make a little change you can apply simply binary search and solve the question now let's go with our flow So the problem statement will be, they will give us some sorted array. That sorted array will be of integer. And the, that is the first thing. Second, they will give us some target to find it. Let's suppose in this example, one, two, three, and they've asked us, can you find target three in this question, in this given array? So we can say, okay, let's go one by one. We find, look here, then further, then further, and we found it. So we found our target. What if they ask us, can you found 10 in this? So we have to go till at, at the end of the array, and then we will say, yes, we found it. So it's a linear search. That linear search has a complexity big of n because we have to look all the elements. Can we do it better? Yes. So let's suppose for the same example, if we, I will say with their indices 0, 1, 2, the question is same again. We have a sorted array, sorted array, and second, they have given us a target. Let's suppose again 3 to, to find it. So these are the two things. So yes, we can apply binary search. What is binary search? In binary search, we take one pointer at the very start which is left we take a second pointer at the end which is right and then we find the median which is left plus right divided by 2 is equal to 0 plus 6 divided by 2 that will be 3 so we are going to say we will take a median at index 3 now at this index we can compare this number with our target and we will see if it is equal to this or not so here we will do a comparison that is we will compare that number so we will say if nums at median is it equal to my target if it will be we got our answer so it is not but with this comparison we can see that this number is bigger than our target so where we have to look because this, this array is sorted, so we can use the benefit of sorted array. So by comparing this number, we can decide either we have to go left or we have to go right. So we have either have to go left or we will look either we have to go right. Now in this case, where we have to look, we have to look on the left side. So we will go here when we have to go here we will take a right pointer at m minus one so what i did i said else if my nums at median is greater than my target then right has to go m minus one and now i will do again i will try to find my median by zero plus three sorry zero plus two and we have to take median at index 1. So here will be our median. Again, we will look, does this number is equal to our target? It is not equal to our target by this comparison. 
We will ask the question, is it greater than this? No, it is not greater than that. It is less than. So if it is less than, that is the last condition. So we have to move m to the next pointer. So left will move to m plus 1. So left will come here. That is left. Now again, we will try to find our median, which is L plus R divided by 2. That is 2 plus 2. That is 4 by 2, which is 2. So median will come here at the same point. And now again, we will ask this question that does this number is equal to our target? Yes, it is. So we found our solution. So see, what we have done here, binary search, at this point, at the first comparison, what we did, we actually split our problem into n by 2 and n by 2. And we even doesn't bother to look at this section because that section is, we know already, it will be greater than even this. So we don't have to look here. So we split our problem by that the initial problem is of size n. And the next we divide this problem to n by 2 size and then we divide this by n by 4 size and then n by 8 and so and so so this is log base 2 n complexity we can achieve with this now let's see how we can write this code partial code i have already written the first i will write here the oop approach so in oop way we say we take a var at left which is at zero index and right which will be at index nums dot length minus one we will take a while loop we will keep on looking till left is less than equal to right and the next step so we'll take left plus right divided by two and here we'll make a comparison if nums at median is equal to my target so i found the index that has my target else if again that same nums at median is greater than my target in that case right has to move m minus one else only one condition is left when nums at mid is less than t so i will say left will be m plus one it is our oop approach what will be the recursive approach solution like which we can use in functional solution so we will take a def you will take a function with bs we'll say left will be that index right will be at index this and we were expecting to return the end in this case that will be median so the first condition will be if left is increased to right so if left has crossed right like in this array left has gone come here so left has come here and right is here so we couldn't find our solution so we will return minus one we couldn't find that else i can explain here that's the same step exactly as we have done here so first we will look at median which is l plus r divided by two so this is not we won't use l plus r by two here rather we will use l plus r minus l divided by two i will tell you the reason why but let's complete first this and the second and now here we will make a comparison so that was our base condition and here in this part we will say if here we are going to make a comparison we will say if nums at made is equal to target so i will return m else if nums at made is greater than my target so i i won't change anything because this is immutable immutable index we're not going to change them 
we will call a recursive call very simple bs and here you can see what we have changed we have changed right here so we will just say left is m minus one in the else part we will again call the binary search and at this point you can see we have just changed left so we'll say m plus one and right will remain there that's it that will be the recursive solution now let's talk about why i have to use l plus or minus l divided by two pretty simple because we want not to like uh, the space limit that the size of int is not going to be compromised because that will give us a negative median why suppose int has for the sake of simplicity the size limit of 10 and left come up with 8 yes it's valid right come to 8 also so it is valid too now if we will use l plus or divided by 2 that will say 8 plus 8 by 2 so that 16 can't fit in our int size so it will overflow and that for sure will move from from that point it will go back here so instead of using l plus r divided by 2 what we can use we say l plus r minus l divided by 2 now following the same example here if we will substitute the value we'll see that 8 plus 8 minus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 8 plus 0 by 2 that is 8 so we in our calculation we're not going to use any value which is going to overflow the size of int so that's why we will use l plus r minus l by 2 now we will we will talk about the last part where we have different template for binary search so binary search has different template the first you will you can ask you you can make your comparison you can compare and can come to your answer by just looking at a single index like in the above example you have to just look at a single index and you come to know yeah this this number match with my target so that the first type of binary search you can find there is a second type of binary search where you can't make a decision that yes i am like i'm the answer i'm the number which you are looking at by just looking at uh, looking at index you have to look your neighbor to ask the same question that am i the one which is expected so what type of these questions suppose if someone say find the peak element peak element so what you have to see you have to suppose there is some ascending array and then it is descending so this element is peak element so it is increasing like one two three that is four and now this is descending three two one so they were asking to find this number so this number couldn't be found just by looking at a single index i can't say that nums at median is equal to what because there is no target is given so there will be binary search of this type we will for sure talk about that one once we will come to such type of questions so yeah so you have to go with your neighbors to ask that okay am i the answer am i the expected value so in some question you have to look at only single neighbor or only one neighbor and there are some other type where you have to ask you you have to look at your neighbors but more than once so like a range of neighbors you have to see and that could be the reason where some numbers are repeated so let's suppose there the range was expected so you go one two three 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 four five so you have to look that range so you have to you, you will find your number even here but you have to look to the left and you have to look to the right 
to find your complete range left and right. Okay, this is what I was expecting. So these are different template we will look. So as a whole, as a summary, I can explain again. Bind search is pretty simple. You'll get a sorted array and in the you'll take your left index here, left pointer here, you will take a right pointer at the end. You'll lick, you will make uh, you will take the median here, you'll compare, and that comparison will tell you either we have to go left or we have to go right. So that will give you the answer. And you keep on repeating that part again and again, again and again, and you can solve your question. Hopefully that will make some understanding and we will better explore binary search in coming questions. Thanks.